Hi everyone, this is Psychedelic Sim of Neighborly Sims Craft. Today I am playing The Sims 4 and we are going to start the first part of the Brick Mansion Challenge. Uh, this was created by Linda Wing and Mama Lamb NC. Uh, they're both from Neighborly Sims Craft. Um, if you'd like to check it out, um, you can go to NeighborlySimsCraft.com. Um, go under the Sims 4 category and check out um, the forum entitled Fun Stuff. And in there you'll see a list of all of the current challenges that we have. Um, they're all a lot of fun, very creative, and add a new element to your game, which is really cool. Um, I want to apologize in advance because my kids are here, so if you hear any uh, chatter or silliness going on, you'll know where it's coming from. So, um, okay. Hello. Let's go Hello. ahead and start a new game. Okay, this is not one of the sims we're going to start with, so we're going to go to open the gallery. Now, we will be playing with I Own a Big House, which is basically I Own a Big House, and I Should Have a Big House. I Should Have a Big House. That's really cool. <laughs> I like how they did that. Um, this is going to be fun to play. I can tell right now. Um, now also you see a little house and the brick mansion. The challenge of this is going to be starting Iona off in a little house and her aspiration is to become a mansion baron which means she wants to be wealthy and to buy a mansion. So of course she's going to run into some problems because Ashunava is a bit of a con man. Um, he's going to want to do his best to get all of her wealth and her mansion. So, um, the first thing we're going to need to do is to place a little house into a world. Uh, we're going to be using Willow Creek. Um, okay. Here is the description. There's two bedrooms and two baths. Um, this, in the description, this little house is a part of a new challenge at Neighborly Sims Craft. You don't have to be a member to join this challenge unless you want to post your results. Um, this house was created by Linda Wing, um, and here's the address of where you can find the challenge. So, all right, first we need to click on Iona, um, and we're going to have to place her into create a sim. So we want to replace the current guy that was in there. Now there's Iona, and we're going to push play. And we're going to move her into Willow Creek. Now, in this section right here, this what we're going to be doing is replacing two of these houses. Now, as you can see, we're not able to edit anything yet. Um, the first thing we're going to have to do is to move Iona into a temporary, uh, like, holding house, I guess. Um, now, just to let y'all know, um, I'm still learning uh, in this game. Um, it's This game is fairly new. Um, it came out at the beginning of September, so uh, there's still lots to learn. And, of course, given the history of The Sims, there will be lots of new content coming as, uh, as the uh, months go by. So, okay. First, we are going to move Iona into, let's choose the Crit Cabana. Uh, this will just be her temporary home. Uh, we will eventually move her into a little house, which I'm going to place here in just a minute. And there you go. It's, there's her aspiration, Mansion Baron. But we're not going to go into that right now. We're going to pause this because we don't want to play this part in this house. Um, so we're going to go to Manage Worlds. Okay, now you can see that the names of each of these houses, now they now come up. So what we're going to do is, for the lot for a little house, we're going to replace the current house that's there called the Rindle Rose. Now we're going to click on that house and there's an option to go into build mode.
Okay. Now to remove the current house, you want to go up to Lot Info Panel and click on the Bulldoze Lot icon and click OK. Now we're going to click on Open the Gallery because we want to place a little house in there. So here's a little house. Place Lot. Furnished. And yes. Okay. Now we'll go to the lot info panel and it has two beds and two baths. And we also want to rename it. So it's now called a little house. Okay. Now we're going to go back to manage worlds. The next thing we're going to want to do is place Ishidava into the world. Actually, first we're going to move Iona into a little, little house. So we can click on that and go to More and Evict Household. Now what this do is going to do is put her up in the Household Management section. There she is right there. So we're going to click on her and go to move household into a lot and as you can see it's red which means it's too expensive for her so we're going to use a cheat um, the free real estate cheat so to open up the cheat window click on shift control C now there's the white cheat window so you're going to want to type in free real, est real estate on press enter okay now escape out of that. Now it's green, so now she can buy it. Okay, now we're gonna place Ishidaba into the world. Okay, here he is. Handsome man, got lots of muscles. Place household. And we're gonna go ahead and put him in the Crick Cabana. Um, that's, that'll be his temporary home. Uh, one of the rules in this game is to have Ashidava uh, con his way into Iona's house. Um, he's going to come and claim to be a long lost relative and uh, get her to like him and marry him and have kids. So uh, then his real plan will go into work. Uh, we'll see uh, what he ends up doing trying to get all of her money in her mansion. So. Okay, we have Ashidava into the world, so the last thing we need to do is to place the brick mansion. So we're going to go to Brook Bungalow and click on that. Build. Okay. Go to the light info panel. Bulldoze. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is go to the gallery and grab the mansion to put there. Um, this mansion is really awesome. Um, Linda Wing put a lot of effort into this. It's beautiful. She's such a beautiful designer, or such a wonderful designer. Um, it has seven bedrooms and nine bathrooms, so it definitely is a mansion. Um, so we are going to place it furnished. Now this is it's going to take a little bit longer since uh, this is a larger house um, so there we go now plot info panel and we're going to rename it the brick mansion oops if I could spell okay Seven bedrooms and nine bathrooms. Okay. Now, go back to Manage Worlds. And we're going to save this now before we get started playing. It's always a good idea to uh, save your game every, I'd say every 20 minutes or so. 
Alright, go up to save as. And uh, I guess we'll name this one Iona Brick Mance. Save. Okay, now we're all ready to go. Alright, now we're going to click on a little house and choose play. The first thing we're going to want to do with Iona is to get her a job so she can start earning that cash. Okay. Here she is sitting at her computer. Uh, let's see what she's doing. Um, looks like checking out recipes, but I could be wrong. Okay. Alright, let's pause that. Her needs are doing pretty well since we just started, so let's go to her Simology. Her traits are materialistic, good, perfectionist, and business savvy. So, it sounds like she's going to be really good at making that money. Um, of course, she doesn't have any inventory or relationships or skills. Um, first thing we should do is get her a job. So, let's press play and click on the computer, play a game. Whoops, not yet. Click on the computer, find a job. Okay, now we're going to want to select the one that gives her the most money per hour. Um, astronaut, 26 simoleons, not bad. Writer, a little bit less. Criminal, no way, too cheap. Uh, let's see, entertainer, no, secret agent, painter, tech guru, 31 simoleons an hour. Looks like tech guru it is. Um, so it's 31 simoleons an hour working 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday with uh, Sunday and Monday off. So we'll select that. And now she's entered into the tech guru career. Okay, now before she starts work, what we're going to do is we're going to check, see, it's Sunday, so she doesn't go to work for three days. Um, so what she needs to do is play video games for four hours, which is really awesome. I would love to have that job. So let's get her started playing games for four hours. Sims forever. There we go. Okay. No. Here's her aspiration. And as you can see, she already has a home worth $50,000. Um, and next up is owning, we need to get her to own 15 pieces of art. She already has three. So, uh, and she did require, or acquire the game, video gaming skill. So, while she's doing that, I'll take you on a tour of the house. Of course, here's the living room with the big screen TV and the fireplace. The kitchen uh, with all the necessities. Um, this is Iona's room. Wow, go Iona. She's already level two. Sweet. Let's slow that down for a minute. Okay, she's already played three hours of games. Awesome. Um, okay, upstairs there is a pink bathroom and a pink bedroom. This is actually supposed to be her childhood bedroom. So that's cool. Um, so let's go back down and see how she's doing. Of course, there's another bathroom back behind her. So there's two bathrooms and two bedrooms. Let's see. Check her progress. Speed it up just a little bit. Looks like we picked the right career for her. All right. Check. Check it off. All done. Okay. Now, when I play The Sims, the first thing I want to do is to get their cooking skill up. Because the last thing we want to do is burn down the house. Um, of course, she can... Right now, she can make... Let's see. She can make a garden salad. Um, there's a lot more choices in this version of the game right off. Um, 
but she can make a garden salad and of course have quick meals. Um, so why don't we send Iona to the library to check out a book on cooking because unfortunately she cannot do that out of this bookshelf um, because these are actually just entertainment books. So, all right, let's send her to the library. Travel. As you can see, she's focused after playing her uh, video game. Okay, we are gonna click on the Willow Creek Archive. arrived at the library okay um, the library is usually a pretty busy place but I only see one sim in there right now which is cool oh there's another one okay send her over there and she's gonna grab a book out of the bookshelf read cooking volume one let's go comes some more sims. Hey Dylan. Who's this? Jackson. Jade. Let's see here. Who else do we have? Jackson. Don't know how to s pronounce that name. Kate's Okay, Iona's acquired the cooking skill, so um, the library's filling up now. Let's see. see. Iona, one of her traits is being good, so good sims are happy when others around them are happy, and they seek to improve the world. Okay, I don't see anybody else right now. Let's go upstairs and see if anybody's up there. Nope. But there, there's a more more of a selection of books. So, All right, how's Iona doing? Okay, let's see here. Liberty Lee, Jade Booker, Riker Ware. Um, okay. So, for some reason, she placed her book. Not quite sure. Oh, there she goes again. Okay, let's check out her needs. Um, nothing really major right now. So I'm going to speed this up. So she can do a little bit of speed reading. Oh, looks like her bathroom needs are... Uh, becoming a little more urgent here. We'll let her read for a little bit longer. Alright, anybody else come? We're going to try to avoid her running into a Shinova, uh while she's out in the different community lots. Um, of course, it can't be totally avoided. Oh, there's Mortimer Goth. We all love the Goths. Um, so. Alright, let's do normal speed here and send her to the restroom because she's also getting hungry so we're gonna have to send her back home oh she's talking to mortimer so the, the one of the things that i like about the sims 4 is that they can do many different things um, at the same time um, lots of multitasking so as you can see she's really got to go to the bathroom so get her to use the bathroom um, one of my favorite additions is the PP walk it's quite funny to watch um, there she goes doing the PP walk okay we'll let her do her business check out all the rest of the people that are coming coming in um, 
you'll recognize a lot of a lot of them from previous Sims titles. Um, don't know who that is. There's a lot of new ones too. So, but it'll be fun getting to know them. Okay, so she's done. Now she's hungry. So let's send her home. Um, and to actually follow your sim, you want to right click on their portrait. And now she's going to make her way home and uh, I think I'll have her cook up a garden salad. Or prepare a garden salad, I guess. Can't really cook garden salads. you to get some get some food in your belly okay we're gonna click on the fridge choose cook and select garden salad and single serving see how well she does I don't even think she has um, I guess she has one skill level like tomatoes. Yum. Okay, trying to figure out what to do next, I think. Oh, there she goes again. She's doing pretty well so far. Um, mm, not bad, Iona. Well, right here, um, she would like to meet someone new. Buy an object worth 500 simoleons and make something of excellent quality. Let's see how that salad turns out. It's only good quality, but that's okay. She's just starting out, so. Looks like she's enjoying it. Which is very good. Okay, well, this episode, it's um, it's getting kind of long, so I'm going to call it for right now, uh, and we'll come back uh, later and do the next episode, and hopefully uh, we'll get to the part where she meets Ashutaba. So, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.